Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shona here, about to give you another Injustice 2 video. In this video, we got the 360 fragments in the second arena season for Justice League The Flash. As I kind of slacked a little bit because of the holidays and only got into Competitor 4, getting 100 fragments for that. So I have to wait until the Justice League Flash season comes around a third time in order to get the character. So as you can see at... Level 1 with no gear, no sets, or anything. He has base 2,221 threat, 190 health, and 188 damage. So we're going to first unlock the hero. Star promotion is available, and obviously there are no special offers. So, when you upgrade that ability, I think it does absolutely nothing. Does it actually give you threat? Yes, it does. So, I think that's kind of weird. Unless it just gives plus one team fast hits all the time. I'm not really sure. So, the stats for four stars before talents now jumps up to 3,102 threat. Obviously, we did upgrade the ability twice, so it's about 3,000. 251 damage, 1,320 health. So, we're going to upgrade again. So now we're at 3,170 health. We're going to equip all the gear that we pre-leveled up before the video. And I ended up getting a lot of fast attack chance on my gear, as you can see. I know you can't actually see it on the tooltip, but I probably rolled like 10 or 15% of fast attack chance. So the helmet, I got 35 attack. The gear set bonus gives 10% fast attack chance, 5% health, and 10% attack. Chest blade, I got 6% crit damage, which is a low roll. 5% fast attack chance on the gloves. On the boots, I got 3% fast attack a chance. And on the weapon, I got 50 attack. So I rolled all offensive stats on Justice League The Flash, and I'm quite okay with that. So let's go take Justice League The Flash up to level 20. And that takes three level 6 capsules to get there, so you can see the difference. 6,826 threat goes up to 13,480. Health goes from 2,686 to 5,080. And damage more than doubles. 416 to 892 because he's got that double or that 10% attack plus attack on the gear. Also factored in. So what I like to do is when I get a new character, I like to upgrade their abilities. Because I feel at level 1 they suck. So we're going to upgrade all these abilities up to, we'll do level 10, because I don't want it to take forever. Now the Sonic Shock on the Special 2 is a stun chance, and I think it's appropriately priced at 4. I think the kick from Speed Force to Flash at 3 is a little bit strong. So the Flash releases a burst of energy that has a chance to stun. And it looks like it's only a 10% stun chance. Unlike a lot of characters, the value doesn't appear to go up, so that's a little bit unfortunate. That it's a 10% stun chance, but maybe the stuns are really powerful. Like, I really think they need to just cut out 50% of the duration for uh, Predator Batman or Arkham Knight Batman, or just not allow you to chain. I think that's one of the biggest problems, is that if you're running Dr. Fate with Predator or basically any Batman, you can just stun bomb them until they just die. It's such a stupid mechanic, and... I really hope that another one watches the video and sees that because I just think it's a dumb mechanic to just stun bomb your way down. Granted, I do it too, but again, 75% defense opponents, that's not so useful. Now, 14,237 threat for Justice League The Flash. So we're going to go into our arena setup. Now, there's a couple team compositions that I obviously recommend. Aquaman, Cyborg are mandatory because you want that buff. But you could also use Justice League The Flash. And he is still pretty low on the food chain because he's only level 20. But you also have Justice League Cyborg giving more basic damage. So this team is another variant of the one that has Batman or Mythic Wonder Woman. You don't see a lot of people with BVS Superman because a lot of people don't have him leveled up. Or just don't feel the investment in it. But Justice League The Flash does give team fast attack hit. So everybody on your team will be getting their combo faster. And basically, it just means you're going to be doing more special damage. So, Aquaman. what that means for Aquaman, for example, is that you can use all of his abilities. 
and they're going to be a little bit beefier. And it just works out. So we're going to use this team, and we're going to do a couple fights. Um, that's a Justice League team, but there's not a lot of defense at low levels. I don't like the whole avoiding thing, so let's fight Coyote. I want to try the team composition that has all of the Flash characters in it, because that is a viable option as well. So you can see doing a lot of damage. Where's this fast attack chance? Oh, there we go. Flash hit like four times. So do you have to actually land a fast attack? That looks cool. I'm thinking you actually have to land a fast attack. That looks sweet too. Let's see what the kick looks like. That's badass looking too. So it looks like in order for the fast attack to trigger, you have to actually land a fast attack. So... We tried that setup, 15,906 score. This is why I usually use Predator Batman and just gem somebody, because you're going to get score a lot faster. So, that test was a rather interesting one. Let's fight Morton Koopa Jr., but let's take out Cyborg, because we know he can do a lot of damage. Let's see if we can make these fights last a little bit longer. And let's use Justice League Batman. I still have to do a five-star video on him. I know i got to catch up on that. So now let's fight Warrior. I'm not really too worried about specials. I want to test out the fast attack stuff. From the looks of it, the passive is not very good because you have to have a lot of fast attack chance, which the Flash does have it built up. So let's see if we can get a fast attack here. It does not look like it. Yeah, so that passive is not going to do much for Aquaman. So there's the unhittable from Batman, which is really good. You can see the bar hitting to four. So it looks like every time you upgrade the ability, you're going to get another fast attack. And Aquaman is going to destroy my Flash. That's not very nice. There's Primal Swamp Thing. This fight could actually go pretty bad. Let's actually do this. If he'd actually let me hit him. There we go. Now, well, we can't even use a special three because of Scarecrow. I forgot about that. Maybe it actually does matter. So let's get Aquaman back in, and there's the unhittable from him. Now I kind of wish I had Cyborg. Because at the two-minute mark, he's just going to spam stupid moves that do a lot. There's a shot there, and power slow. Is that a super move? I think I'd rather lose Batman than Aquaman. Just because he is a lot stronger. Let's get that firebomb just to nerf the damage over time. Let's see if we can get rid of Aquaman. That's a good elimination. So he's still got a full bar of power. It looks like we're dealing with this fine. There's Scarecrow, so we're going to use Batman, who does have a class advantage. That's not going to do much because of blocking. Posted juice from Horrific Scarecrow. And yeah, you can see that fast attack chance is useless unless you actually have fast attack chance. So, yeah, that passive ability sucks. Unless you're rolling a lot of fast attack chance. So if you're doubling down on flashes, you can use that, and then you're probably going to get a ton of hits. Obviously, it's only going to work on Justice League the Flash, but let's test it out. So we're going to use Speed Force the Flash, and we're going to use Silver Flash. The Flash. So, 30% team fast attack chance from Speed Force to Flash. Flash. Silver Flash gets 20% fast attack chance, so that's 50% right there. And the then, Flash. on Justice League the Flash, his gear set bonus also gives 10%. So you're talking probably 70% fast attack chance. Now, you're going to have to obviously rely on Justice League the Flash to be your uh, combo dealer. Let's fight Smacer 10. So this is the optimal setup for maximizing combos. Yeah, you can see the combo builds up really fast until the flash gets annihilated. 
falling behind. Wonder Woman, however, is going to go down, and this is where low-level gameplay, obviously, is not fair to the mechanic. Because basically one or two hits and you're dead because you have no defense, but... You'll regret this. Let's just get rid of Batman here. And we'll try that again. I think the Flash died a little bit too easily. I also forgot to put talents on Justice League the Flash, so that probably doesn't help. But yeah, it's easy to level somebody up to like level 40. Obviously, running them in the campaign helps out quite a bit. The Flash. So the ambulance going down my street. So let's get these talents. We got 4% crit chance, which is good. We got armor pierce on basic attacks, which is really good if you're not running the Justice Tape League. Damage over time resistance is garbage, and we get crit chance. So let's reroll the damage over time. Uh, I think I'd rather have crit resistance, even though damage over time is crap, too. So let's go and fight. Zashi. So we're going to try again to get a huge combo with Justice League the Flash. This is obviously a lot better way to actually do it. You're going to miss a lot of buffs from the Justice League team as Cyborg is probably mandatory. But look how fast the combo meter actually just builds up like right away. A 43 hit combo and we only did like two combos. And then when you get the flash to five stars, that's going to turn into five instead of four. We're already in a 50 hit combo. 61 hits right off the bat, and then Green Lantern does his stupid ass sweep. Please take sweeping out of the game. I'm ending this fight. And down goes the flash again. Yeah, you can definitely see just from that alone. Now, obviously, it's not fair to justify Justice League the Flash as a swishy character. He's only level 20, and he has no defense. Obviously, if you have him leveled up, you can make Justice League the Flash a powerhouse. And, obviously, more uh, combos is good when you're using fast attack chance. So let's try one more fight. Let's try the Needle guy. So we know that Speed Force the Flash is definitely a lot more developed than Justice League the Flash, but we're trying this. I want to get off a high combo move, and I really want to see if his specials can hit multiple opponents. So we're going to probably do uh, one fight in the Cyborg campaign before we end this. Fifty-seven hit combo. There's the Amazon. Let's start cycling a little bit. So we need the Flash not to die. I want to get this Amazon super low. I want to see if we can multi-hit with a special one. Nope. I just got a special three then. That basically just killed himself. Yeah. You guys might think Justice League the Flash is a bad character. But I don't know, you'd have to gear your team around fast attack chance to actually make it work a lot better. I mean, people are probably still going to be using Batman, Aquaman, and Cyborg primarily on a Justice League team, but it is nice to have options. And obviously if you have fast attack chance on a BVS Superman or even a Justice League Cyborg and Aquaman, that could be decent. Or even on Batman. The problem with that whole fast attack thing is you have to have fast attack chance on your characters and because fast attack gives no threat and minimal value, I think the Flash's passive sucks. Like, it's cool to see the flashy combos after like 10 hits, but at the expense of what? It's so much better having, you know, Batman in avoiding specials. It's so much better having Cyborg just do more damage that a Flash team I don't think makes sense except in campaign. In Arena, you're just losing so much. So once again, to just recap on Multiverse of Flash, the Justice League teammates are unblockable for ability 1, 2, and 3, but as you saw, the special 3, you still got block broken by super block. So, yeah, it's not totally foolproof. Begin. 
Now we're just knocking goons down. Alright, here we go. Now we can actually test if this hits a second person because Bane is low. No, it does not. So that kind of sucks. Let's get the fiery inmate down. Rinse, repeat. Alright, so he's low. Let's get it to four. Nope, his move is not multiple opponents either. Hope you got more in the playbook. Cyborg got destroyed early. And there you have it. So Justice League The Flash gains a level of 23. So again, in closing, if you want to maximize your fast attack chance, you need to be using Speed Force The Flash and Silver Flash, as both of them together give you 50%. Justice League The Flash's two gear ability gives you 10 more percent. And then if you land a couple things on gear... You'll be hitting five times, basically infinite. Now, as I said, it's not useless to have triple flashes. You're obviously going to want to have Ar Aquaman for armor piercing and Cyborg for extra damage. So, the fast attack mechanics in Arena do not work. So, I really feel that Justice League, the flash's passive is horrible. Now, the unblockable for Justice League teammates is really good. Because if you have a high damage special 3, then no matter who you're using... It's going to be pretty good, except for, obviously, armor piercing. Like, for example, Justice League Batman Special 1 ignores it. Because of block break, and then you use a Special 3. So there is some use for that. But we'll have to see. If you like this video, showing off a 4-star Justice League The Flash. And what type of crazy combos you can pull off. Please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice 2 videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood show now. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood show now. Subscribe, bitches!